in yours. Right, yes, we, we would. We put this on our uh, site. Um, if you would be so kind as to just, uh, you know, state your name and age and uh, where you live, your, uh, your, your rank when you left the service, and uh, whereabouts you serve. That would be great. All right. Mm-hmm. I uh, am Herman Selden Rust. I served in World War II. The war was over when we got there. And the ship that I sailed on to the Philippines was the same ship that I sailed, came home on. And I give them people credit. They can work and they would bow to you. And they were just like there was one happy bunch. We just tried to treat them as nice as we could. And I've never been sorry that I went where I did. Because that was a good experience for me. I still have a couple of friends from that time when I was in the service. One man was captured by the Chinese communists when he, when he uh, got out of the service. He went in to the Air Corps and he, his plane got shot down and landed in Japan, or in China. Mm -hmm. And we didn't hear from him for two and a half years. I'd call him and talk to him about once a month. And he was a prisoner for two and a half years, and we didn't hear nothing from him. Because he joined the Korean War, mm -hmm. and him and I were buddies, and we're still buddies. And one of the things I learned was that you learn to respect people. And I'm thankful that I had a father and a mother that were God-fearing. They always prayed for me, and they hoped that I would come home. I seen my dad cry for the first time in my life. He was bringing me to Chicago, to Port Sheridan, to go overseas. He got about halfway, and he started to cry. I never heard my dad cry, but he cried. And my sister said he cried every day he prayed, because he was in World War I, and he knew what that meant the possibility of not coming back home because it was World War II. And I seen some service, but never had any combat. But I can tell you one thing. I seen grown men sit in a corner and read their mail and start to cry. I remember that like yesterday. They cried and they cried because they were homesick. I never cried, but I had many friends. And I still have two friends, one in Colorado and one in Texas. And this one in Texas was captured by the Chinese communists. That was after the war was over and he got in the Korean War, and he was uh, flying an airplane, a B-29, and he got shot down. And he writes a book, Endless Hours, and I still, I still visit him and talk to him over the phone. So I think it was a good experience. I'm thankful to God that I'm still home. 
all this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you.